Hey guys, what is up? Mitchell here from Form Designs, and I am here in uh, Photoshop CS5, and I am going to teach you guys how to make the binder paper effect, just like this one right here. Now what you want to do is, let's open up a new project, and let's just make it 1280 by 720 pixels, press OK. And now we are gonna make text here. Let's just draw a text box. Now we can type in anything in this. So let's say forum. Forum. All right. Let's change this text. Or yeah, let's change this. Even though that looks like it's written. So let's just make it um, stencil. I guess that looks good so then let's just use that just for now all right so now what we want to do is create a new layer pressing this button right here that looks like a post-it note click on it makes a new layer so we so now we hold down control on your keyboard click on the forum text right here this the thing that says T click on that and it selects all of this now we go to select modify expand let's expand it by 15 it create it should create an outline like that now we select the new layer that we chose go to our gradient tool and we just make this whatever color we want so it will just change right there see so now we take the layer one that has the color on it move it behind the text so then it should be outlined like that now we open up our wrinkled paper and all you need to do is go to Google or something like that and get a picture of wrinkled paper. So now we go, let's see where I put it here. Where did I put that thing? Oh man. Um, other things. Yep, a wrinkled notebook paper right here. So then it should open up this file that has your paper on it. Now we take the magic wand tool, right click, and it should say select all. Click on that. Then it should have that. Oh, wait, let's. First, we have to unlock the layer first. Take this lock and just drag it down to the trash bin. So that should unlock it. So now we hold down control. C that should copy it now go back to this layer that has your text that you want it on now we press control V to paste it so then it should be there so now it should be in between your text and the background now we choose this move tool and then we can just move it around so let's just move down move this up for now take these text and then move drag it down a little bit just to where we want it and now we select the binder paper again put it in between the text and the background so then it should be in between now what we want to do is resize it to the text so now we just drag it here and then drag it over here then we just move it up where we want it I'll choose right here where the wrinkle is double click on this so then it stays and if you don't have these little boxes here you have to check show transformation tools right here or wow show transformation controls and it's right here so now what we want to do is hold alt on the keyboard and then click in between the binder paper and the background so then it merges them together let's click on that so then see right there it is now part of the border so now we can just um, merge this down so now it's just the background so now we can just move it around here 
Now what we want to do is put tape. So now we open up where you get tape. It could be off Google again. Where did I put that tape? Uh, right here. So now it should open up a piece of tape. Now we go back to our magic wand tool right here. Select all. So now we press control C. Go back to our project. Control V. It should pop that up. Now we go back to our moving tool. Then we just make the tape however big or long we want it. So then that should be good right there. So now we just rotate it when you see a, a curved arrows, curved arrows, we can just turn it like that. Now we double click on it so then it uh, becomes a layer again. Move it to where we want it. I'll just put it there. Alright, change the opacity to about um, 80 or 75, depending on what you're doing. So then if you want to put it in to another file, take your magic eraser tool, go to your background, drag the lock out so then it's an open layer, and now we just left click on this, left click on the background. So that will create an alpha channel or a transparent layer, so that means we can take this whole text and put it into another file. So now if you want another tape piece like down here, we right click on it, duplicate layer, press OK, and that should create another layer and then we just move it. And that should create a tape effect so that it looks like it's taped down. And that is how to create a binder, a binder paper effect tutorial, binder paper effect in Photoshop CS5 and we can also change the opacity of the um, text to make it look like it's drawn on with marker or something so then see right there it makes it a lighter and now all we have to do is go here save as and just save to wherever you want it and then make sure you change it to a PNG file or is it PNG right here or a JPEG that will save it as a picture but not as a Photoshop file if you save it as a Photoshop file it'll just you'll just be able to open it in Photoshop alright guys that is how to make the binder paper effect in Photoshop CS5 peace